Honey Wig sent me the wig that I will be reviewing today. And can we just talk about how cute that bag is? So of course you get a pouch, you get a rat tail comb, an edge brush, and some tweezers. So this wig is a T-part wig on the left side. And it comes in this really pretty cool tone um ash blonde almost gray color and y'all already know the first thing i do is i wash my wigs even if you have bundles if you have bundles if you are making a wig out of some bundles if you are um buying a pre-made wig off a website make sure that you wash your wigs before you wear them it also makes them it also makes them easier to style so i just decided to flat iron this wig i decided to wear it straight i curled it once before and i really didn't like it so here i finished flat ironing the wig and i cut off the little ratty ends on the bottom it just makes the wig look thicker and it makes the hair look quote unquote more healthy i guess so like i said in the beginning this wig is a t-part which means that you really can't pluck as far back as you would with the frontal but i'm doing the best i can um this wig didn't really come with a super harsh hairline but me as a wig maker <laughs> i'ma always pluck extra no matter how pre-plucked the wig is So now that I'm finished plucking and styling the wig, I'm about to install it. So my install process is pretty much the same every single time. And I have multiple videos on how I install my wigs. So, you know, if you want a detailed tutorial, then let me know, hit me up in the comments, hit me up on my social media. But as for now, I'm just gonna let y'all watch me install this one. So this is what the wig looks like installed and styled on my head. So this wig is from My Shiny Wigs and it is 22 inches and it is a T-part wig. So for those who don't know what a T-part wig is, basically it is a wig that already has a part in it for you and you can't change it. So let's say you got a T-part wig and it was in a middle part, you wouldn't be able to change it versus a frontal where you can put the part on the left, right, right side and middle. Oh, T-part wigs come with a piece of lace on the front so the hairline looks more natural. So if you're a kind of person that wears, that always wears their parts on the left side or on the right side or in the middle, then I suggest a T-part wig is good enough for you. So with this color, I normally wear colors that are more warm tone, but this cool tone kind of like ash blonde almost close to gray is really really cute and the wig 
comes to here on me. You see that I cut the ends off because I didn't really like the ends. The ends were looking real ratty and just real ugly. So I cut it off so the wig would look thicker. Shedding goes, I haven't had any significant shedding. I just got regular shedding when I washed the wig. And then, you know, y'all know with the straight wig and you flat iron it and you just get the little, the little strings on the floor. So you've come to the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All my social media will be down in the description box as well as videos that I have uploaded in the past. So with that being said, I'll see y'all in my next video.